on Sanford Ice Dunham. So many questions. For some of you, it's gonna be a walk in the park. You've done this before, you know what to expect. But for others, if this is your first foray into on Sanford Ice Dunham, it can be really intimidating. From sizing, fit, shrinkage, stretch, feel, there can be a lot of questions. So, we wanna be able to help you. Pick out the right size and pick out the right fit that's gonna be best for your body type. Come, let's talk about on Sanford Ice Denim. So let's chat shrink. Here's a pair of on Sanford Ice Denim. This is a pair we designed with Samurai jeans called the Legacy. With shrinkage, there's gonna be discrepancy depending on the temperature of the water that you soak it in and the duration that you soak it for. But by rule of thumb, you can expect about 10% of shrinkage once you've soaked a pair of unsamphorized jeans. On average, expect to lose about a half inch in the front rise, a half inch in the back rise, and a half inch in the upper thigh. You will also lose about 0.4 of an inch in the knee and about 0.3 of an inch in the leg opening. The inseam will also shrink up to two and a half inches in the length. Finally, expect the waist to shrink about one and a half to two inches. Of course, with the waist, they will stretch back out, oftentimes stretching back out to the original raw waist size. Set the temperature of the water to approximately 44 degrees Celsius. Then, gently submerge the jeans entirely in water. Place pet bottles or some other weighted object on top of the jeans to ensure they remain underwater. Feel free to carefully move the jeans around so as to gently agitate the fabric and maximize the penetration of the water. Without squeezing the fabric, remove the jeans from the soak so as to minimize the loss of indigo. To avoid staining your bathtub with a permanent indigo ring, Give the tub a good wash immediately after the soak. Carefully turn them inside out to minimize the loss of indigo during the drying process. Line drying outdoors in natural sunlight is the best way to dry your jeans. Expect the line dry process to take at least three to four hours so starting early in the day is advisable. Check the pocket bags or crotch area to ensure the entire pair is dry, as these are the areas of your jeans that will likely dry last. In terms of storage, the jeans should be hung from the belt loop. To avoid any instance of mold, we'd strongly suggest keeping the jeans in a cool, dry place. After that first soak, you probably want to wear your jeans as often as possible. In the event of an accident, like a spill or a stain, gently hand wash your jeans with a touch of detergent. Despite what you may have already read about raw denim, don't hesitate to wash your unsamphorized jeans when necessary. If you're not sure, ask a family member or a significant other. I know my wife doesn't hesitate to tell me when my jeans stink. Dirt and bacteria can actually lead to the eventual demise of your jeans causing a breakdown of the cotton fibers, leading to premature wear and tear. So washing them from time to time is actually gonna help them last longer. Jeans were created to be worn as workwear. So let the fades tell your story and enjoy the journey.